And in terms of the way they're doing things, again, in the news we can talk about Yahoo and where they went wrong, you know, compared to, to what, you know, Google is, has been doing correctly. Does it come down to you're talking about attracting the right people, the talent, because they have the ideas, or is it the actual infrastructure, the way the organization is set up, or it's just a combination of both? Oh, it's a combination of both. It's absolutely the talent. But the main problem is <coughs> Yahoo itself was born as a dis disruptor mm -hmm. to traditional publishing. Uh, but disruptors can be disrupted. And the reason they get disrupted is their disruption model works. And once their disruption model works, they become comfortable with it. And then they try to optimize it, which is exactly what happened at Yahoo. Mm -hmm. And so the real problem is the failure to anticipate the next iteration of the company's strategy in creating value. And part of that um, is a scope opportunity. We've defined the business too narrowly. Uh, we're not thinking about the other opportunities that we could create for our customers. If you look at what Apple's done, they started with computers, they went to MP3 players, they go to phones, then they go to wearable devices, then they'll go to TVs, then they'll go to cars. And so what they're doing is they're fundamentally redefining the scope of their business all the time. And they're bringing their form, the same formula to that expanding scope. So one of the th problems is a leadership problem where we define the scope of the business too rigidly and we're not thinking about how else we can relate to the customer or to the market. Mm -hmm. We tend to think we should stick to the knitting and not get distracted. And we also have this successful way of doing things in the past like Yahoo has done. So I don't think Yahoo was looking for the scope opportunities to expand its mm -hmm. relationship and its relevance to the customer. And the attention of management is the scarce resource. And so what I think you saw at Yahoo and what you see at many companies that get disrupted is the bulk of somebody's attention is on day-to-day -day optimization of an existing business model. Mm -hmm. And the more attention you put on to that, the less attention there is for managers to be thinking about how to refrain. So the scarce resource is never money. Mm -hmm. The scarce resource is the attention span of leaders and managers of the business. Mm -hmm. And it takes a very, very courageous and strong commitment mm -hmm. to rebalance that attention span.